Hello and welcome to Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins demo. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy 1, so I'm very excited to try this weird thing that Tecmo Koei is making. Um, I, I don't know what we're about to see, you know? Like, this thing could be anything. Uh, it's When you tell me you're going to make an offshoot based on Final Fantasy 1, and it's Tecmo Koei making it, I, I don't know what to expect, you know? Got a big sword. Okay, don't know what that does, but we're burning some resource that we probably shouldn't burn. Oh, it looks like it slowly refills anyway. Is that stamina, maybe? Okay, lock on. Oh, boy. All right, we're just in it. Okay, R1's attack. Two is action ability. That feels pretty good. Guard. Okay, now we just gotta beat it. Easy peasy. I like this. Still don't know what that does yet, but I like this. Soul burst. Okay. It feels a little bit like Neo right now, which makes sense because it's probably running on the Neo engine, right? Which I think is just unreal, but break enemies. Okay. Sure. Soul burst. Cover your MP and raise your max MP. Okay. Press right trigger to expend MP and use action ability to deal heavy HP and break damage to your foe. Okay. Cool. So first, we got to break him. Keep trying to press square to attack. Got it. Soul burst. The soul still burn. I like that so far. That seems really cool. Need to drop the audio a little bit. Soul shield. Okay. And adopt the shield stance. Can you, okay. Locking will trigger soul shield, staggering enemies and dealing break damage. Okay. Big step forward and unleash a normal attack. Sure. Okay. Did too late. There we go. Did too early. Health starting to get a little low. So we go ahead and heal up. There we go. Kind of forgot I should log in. Or lock on. Log in. And my brain is all over the place right now. That is really cool. That's a good combo. I like that a lot. Okay. Instant abilities. If soul shield's triggered by an enemy ability with a purple name, ability will become usable as an instant ability. Activate instant abilities by pressing square. Not consume MP, but the number of uses is limited. Also, look at our character. He's like covered in... Ow. He's covered in blood. Okay. Do we get more uses if we we do? Okay, very cool. Very cool. Lightbringer. One or more full MP gauges plus left trigger plus circle. You consume one MP gauge and activate Lightbringer. Increase break damage to enemies. Break gauge is reduced. Uh... Granted, effects equal to a soul burst. Okay, activating Lightbringer changes the break gauge into a special gauge. Completes over time or when hit. Lightbringer ends when the gauge is fully depleted. Yeah, cannot be broken while Lightbringer is active. Make it particularly useful when the break gauge is nearby. Okay. Lightbringer! Keep trying to light attack with square. Very cool. The burger seems nifty. I'm liking this so far. Game, it feels good to play. Okay. That's the tutorial down. First. Yeah. Yeah. 
action abilities, all that fun stuff. Right. Proceed. Okay, castle looking pretty cool so far. Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. I still think it's really funny. All the people that were mad because they were like, what is this Kingdom Hearts thing? It's, it's, he's after chaos? It's like, no, it's chaos is a person. Chaos is like a physical being in Final Fantasy 1. Chaos Shrine. Okay, yeah, I want to touch the cube. Let me touch the cube. Okay, refill your potions too. If your max MP was lower than your initial MP, it will be restored to the initial value. Okay. Doing so will revive any slain enemies and remove any unclaimed items from the field. Fall in battle, you return to the last cube you've touched. Job trees? Okay. Swordsman. Right now we don't have any job points. But... Onslaught. Piercing thrust. New job warrior. Okay. I bring her. What are the other options? Just swordsman? What does that mean? It looks like it. That's fine. That's fine. Battle settings. Swordsman. Yeah, that's what we got right now. This is Jack. Got no more gear we can use. Okay. Well, let's keep going then. Aha! I didn't steal it, but I did block it. Man, not having stamina means we can just kind of... We can kind of just wail on them. Great swords and swordsmen. Okay, attacks can be charged by holding down R1 and pressing L1 while charging perform an enhanced guard. Okay. R1 during enhanced guard to perform a follow-up attack during comp There's a lot of thought that's been put into this already. It's a forward strike attack, a spinning attack followed by a charged attack. Okay. Spinning slash by pressing R2. Okay, holding down R2 will increase the ability's duration, increase rotation speed at the cost of MP. Okay. So we can... Yeah. Very cool. All right. I love... Uh, like full options for combos. Yeah, I love it. Like full on move trees are incredible in video games. All video games should have move trees where you get better moves as you go. Yeah, job level up. Job points can be used on tree to obtain skills and abilities. Uh, combos, powerful techniques are triggered during regular attacks. Command, versatile techniques can be used by any job. Passives. Okay, sure. Still can't select any other trees, so I guess we're going to get Onslaught. Okay, let me see that one more time. That looks really cool. R1 into R2. All right, we now have Onslaught. We need to equip those. Combo abilities. Okay, combo abilities can be used by pressing R2 during a normal attack. Okay. We have Onslaught that we can use. Cool. Very nifty. Give it a shot. Very cool. I like it. 
Yeah, I'm digging this. I am digging this so far. Oh. Twilight like tunic. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Changing equipment, better stats. Ah, and L3 will automatically equip the best stuff you got. Oh, that's a cool looking outfit. Jack, there's one down there. Let's take it down. Plunging attack? Yeah, plunging attacks. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm really digging this combat system so far. This is really good. Got a job level up too, but oh. Oh, this thing is birthing more of them. Okay. Used it too early. Oh, no, I died. You take uh, a lot more damage than I thought you would. I guess I should have healed when it told me to, but I was like, nah, I don't need it. I'm okay. You lose any instant abilities obtained to be revived with reduced max MP in the last cube you touched. Okay. But it, obviously, if you had lower than what you started with, it'll fill that back up. Okay. And we still have our level, right? Yeah, we do. It takes two points to get spinning slash master. But only one point to get strength plus two, which seems good. Piercing attack deals heavy damage or reinforce temporarily decrease the likelihood of being staggered. Let's go for the strength plus two because that's just flat more damage, right? Okay, and now all the enemies are back. But since you don't lose XP, you, theoretically you will just continue to get stronger, right? Oh, thought I had it broke. Didn't have it broke. Nope, I was going to block that, and I called it wrong. There we go. You guys got that one to half at least. That's nice. I got to get out of my head. Of In my head, I have to block uh, with the block button, but I have the soul gauge for a reason. Another job level. I mean, I guess the loot doesn't come back every time. Like, granted, it's just a guess, but... I wouldn't think that it does. Yeah, no, that chest is still open. All right, this time we know better. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay, so we can't block in the middle of that. Uh, and I tried to soul shield that one too and failed. Got it. We got a great sword too, but we need to stop this now before it spits out more. Very cool. I am digging this game. Now let's see what secrets this place is hiding. Dark vents. Very cool. Very cool. We have that new great sword too. We could get spinning slash master up into stamina plus four and to break damage taken minus 15. Reinforce, which will put us into this next area here. I really want to get to warrior, honestly. Like piercing thrust seems pretty cool though. That's just a stinger, right? Nah, I mean, it's not really a stinger. 
Yeah, let's push towards warrior. Should. I don't want to. No, I want to. Okay, it automatically equipped that, but I can't. Okay, there it goes. Weird. Can't use the stick for that. Gotta use the D-pad. Before we hit that cube. Touchpad. That's right. Shadow guards. Very cool. These counters are checkpoints. Very cool. Look at our MP too. We're a we're such a boss right now. Magic attacks. Okay. Soul shield is the best way. Or rolling out of the way of them. Okay. That's a bomb. Yeah, that didn't. Oh. Very cool. Why would you why would you tank that? That was really cool. Cause like as soon as I fired it off, I was like, oh that's gonna be worthless. It's not gonna do any damage to this guy. And then uh it, it made him bigger. That was exciting. Bigger. Oh Jeff Gersman. That that meme of, of Jeff Gersman saying bigger while playing Mario Party will never get old for me. Oh, it didn't kill the goblin. It just broke him. Still, very cool. Twilight headband. I kind of wish I could just auto-equip as soon as I pick it up, you know, instead of having to go into the menu. Oh, I just barely caught that in time. I put that one against the wall. Oh, I missed again. I missed, like, twice somehow. Got it. Maybe I'm just too far away. Definitely too far away. Got it. What is it aiming at, game? Bro. I hit the wrong button. Ow. There we go. This way looks safe Oh boy. Not safe. This way's not safe. Before we mess with that, let's. We should be fine here. Deal with these bombs. That works really well, actually. And you just blow them up. Oh, it takes my potions to pick them back up. Yeah, we gotta take care of these bombs quick then. I didn't even notice it was taking my potion to do that. Ow. Okay. You guys back away from it. It's going to blow. We've gotten a lot of job levels in the last couple minutes. Okay, there we go. Dink, buddy, calm down. Alright, job trees. Three job points in that. Takes two to get this. We take we get two more, we get warrior.
Okay. I didn't realize it was using up all my potions. See what's inside. Not too excited about that. Great sword. I am excited about that. Okay, and then we know there's one of the void deals out here. There. Ow. Got that one. Got it. No more of you guys popping up. Does that just connect to where we were? I mean, it's fine if it does, but... Need one more to get warrior. Yeah, okay. So that would maybe be another way around the bombs. If you didn't want to deal with them. Ha! But if we stop there, all this stuff is going to respawn, right? But if I don't hit it, I won't come back from here if I die. Yeah. Better to go ahead and hit it. Right, we'll go for a little bit longer and then we're going to call it here. Instantly change from one to the other with triangle. Each set has its own break gauge. Okay. Now we have the mage one as an option too. Oh boy. And each of them has their own set of job points. Okay. Okay. Maces are strike weapons that specialize in dealing break damage. Attacks with maces are quicker than attacks with great swords and shields and can be equipped while using them, making maces versatile weapons for both attack and defense. Attacks can be charged by holding down R1, doing a combo. Uh, okay, upward attack or counter attack. Holding right trigger, up to two MP gauges will gradually recover while casting spells. And switch spells with the left stick. Okay. Okay, holding it down will increase the tier without expending any extra mana. That's good. Okay. Some enemies are weak to certain attributes. Sounds good. Okay, well, first we're going to deal with. Yep, they're back. Because I want Warrior. I want Warrior really badly. And I feel like these guys are easy XP farms because you just eat them and then they explode. Like that. Oh, I missed that one. I have to know what happens when you get to the bottom of the tier. Okay, that one's gonna explode. That hit me too, but that one's exploding too. Okay, perfect. Job trees. Oh, and the other one leveled up too. Very cool. All right, now we've unlocked an advanced job. We can select it from the battle settings menu. Advanced jobs can use more specialized job abilities and a wider array of weaponry. Okay. Very cool. Stamina, break gauge, speed, Warcry Master, strength, mighty strikes, agility, stamina, bold defense, bold offense. All damage taken. Wow. This is pretty nuts.
Yeah, I mean, let's be a warrior for a little while. All we're going to get is better uh, stuff from it, right? No greaves. Like, it is just a flat gain for us to use warrior for a little while and get some of those better uh, stamina and strength buffs and everything. At least that's what it seems like to me. War cry. I didn't block that in time. Oh, got to heal. Got to heal. Oh, I see. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So if I now change to Oh, okay. And if we now cast Quake Ga. Very cool. So in other words, I could also cast a Turga. Oh man, I'm loving magic in this. Thandaga. But Waterga obviously is the better choice. Because it's a bomb. All right. All right. What are our basic attacks with this? Okay. Very nice. Yeah, this game is really cool. I like that it's not like super linear either. Like there's all these other offshoots we can take. All right, let's spend our points. And then I think we're going to call it. Because I definitely want to play around with this some more, but I don't want to spoil too much for people. Uh, I think this is a good enough look to be able to, to figure out if you want to play it or not. Man, that's cool. Okay, let's take a look. What do we get for our job trees? Uh, mage leveled up. Mage has three points, so we get fiery impact. Very cool. We don't have an advanced version of mage yet. Swordsman got none because we don't have it equipped. That's definitely interesting. Good to know. All right. From there, we have Ruin. Love Ruin. Intellect up two. Frost Swing. Oh, man. I want Ruin. Even a MP recovery from normal attacks plus 10%. Okay. I mean, that's just a flat gain that we should get. And Black Mage is down there? Okay. I can see myself wanting to grind out some XP in this game very easily. Um... And then for warrior, we got one point. Put that into strength or stamina. Mighty strike seems really good too. Let's put it into strength. Yeah, I like this game a lot so far. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I'm very excited for the, because this is just a demo. This is an alpha demo. Very excited to play more of this game. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And until next time, I've been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum. This is the one. The Strangers of Origin. The Strangers of Paradise. Final Fantasy Origin. Has to offer.